Hello and welcome to Midas Tech. Midas Tech is developing a general Excel flowsheet simulator of which hyperlinks are a key component. This video demonstrates how to create hyperlinks manually by linking data to flowsheet shapes in Excel. The purpose of hyperlinking is to be able to see the data flow between the different cells. So um, in our results worksheet we've we've got an equivalent flow sheet here uh, which which demonstrates how all the results can be seen graphically by clicking on the rectangle it highlights the summary named range by clicking the computer circle goes to the computer name range for, happens for tutorial happens for mid sem quiz and it works for the DC motor So the first step is to highlight each named range and check that all the correct data is there for each named range that you want to include in the flow sheet. We head over to the other worksheet which is named flow sheet and we insert a chart in order to get the drawing canvas for us to plate our flow, for our flow sheet on. We insert a rectangle to represent the summary name range. We insert an oval to represent the computer lab name range. And we change the height and the width to make it a circle. We then uh, copy that circle to, to make the four named ranges that we want. Computer, tutorial, mid-sem quiz and DC motor. We then insert arrows between the circle and the rectangle to represent the data flow. One thing to be very careful about when drawing the arrows is to make sure they go on the red dots on each circle. I've deliberately made a couple that were originally wrong to show you what happens. And that and what happens is you don't get that lockdown effect uh, connecting the arrow properly to each shape. So it's very important to be very to be careful about placing each arrow on the red dot exactly. As you can see, all the shapes are now correctly locked in. Now by clicking the desired shape and going insert hyperlink, we can choose the named range that we'd like to connect our shape uh, with the related data. So we've got summary for the rectangle and computer for the first circle. tutorial for the second circle mid semester quiz for the third circle and finally DC motor by clicking each shape we go to the relevant named range which becomes highlighted As you can see, all the shapes link up with the correct data. Next time, we will show you how to link data and a flow sheet using hyperlinks automatically. See you next time. Bye.